Today at Gadget Class, I get to review another USB solar charger. This one here is sold by Big Blue on Amazon, and I'll put a link down in the video description below. These things are very handy for whenever you're camping or backpacking. You're going to be away from a cigarette lighter or an AC charger, and you want to be able to charge your phones, your cameras, your USB battery banks, anything USB powered you can power with one of these things. This is a 28 watt model. That means it's going to have four folds. You do have lower wattage mo models as well that have uh, only three folds, and those en end up being about 18 to 21 watts. This one has a four fold setup, so you've got a theoretical max output of 28 watts. That's going to give you an extra USB power port here. The 28 watt versions usually have three or four uh slots here. Uh, this one has three slots, which I like because usually four is kind of pushing it for one of these, especially if you start to get a little bit of clouds or if it's late evening or early morning. This one does have a nice rubber proof or a rubber weatherproof uh, boot there to cover up the USB ports to keep it protected. And as you can see, it is getting power from just my photography lighting here. So um, that means it is picking up power. In there, they also give you a little USB patch cord. So we're going to put this thing to the full test today. I'm going to take it outside and see just how many watts we can pull out of it without going below 4.5 volts. We'll see uh, just how much power this baby can put out. Big blue solar panel pointed directly at the sun. It is September, so the sun is not directly overhead, and it is about 4.30 in the afternoon. I am getting a full 3.1 amps out of it. This one here is at 2.12 amps right now. Hard to see in the light. There we go, 2.13 amps at 4.36 volts. It has been getting less and less as it gets later here. And this one is charging at exactly 1,000 milliamps. So that's one amp plus 2.13 amps. That is a uh, 3.13 amps. And uh, I'm going to adjust this up a little bit yeah so we're getting we're at 2.1 amps there and 1000 milliamps there so that's 3.1 amps at 4 30 in the afternoon so we could effectively charge three pretty power hungry smartphones in the late afternoon with the solar charger and that's pretty respectable um, a lot of the smaller ones you can only charge two devices effectively this one you probably could charge three pretty effectively especially if the sun was straight overhead so i'm gonna go ahead and give this one a thumbs up um, I like the way that the uh, USB ports have a rubber boot to protect them from the elements. Just make sure when you're charging that you keep your devices out of the direct sun. Some people like to keep them in the pocket here, but that can cause them to overheat. So I would put your, your phones and your cameras in the shade uh, while you have the solar panel in the sun. But works great, getting over three amps. Um, make sure you hit yes for found this review helpful. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel.